Hey, Eddie, my gosh, I'm like thinking the grilled gods have smiled upon me ahead of Labor Day because I'm thinking, who's a better person to talk to than you? I, I saw Parmesan garlic wings or something and I was like, oh my God, tell me more. <laughs> yep, spicy Parmesan chicken wings. Oh, chill. Yeah, <laughs> uh-huh. One of my go-to dishes for, for game day. Yeah. You like chicken wings? I mean... <laughs> I went to Michigan State. Of course, I love chicken wings. Um, yeah, tell me a little bit about this because I know everybody likes to tailgate and you eat all this food and the next day you have regrets. Tell me a little bit about like your recipe for, for game day food. For me, uh, game day is all about kind of bringing people together. And obviously for me, football and uh, well, sports and food go hand in hand. Yeah. Um, I love to entertain uh, all of my friends and family, you know, around game day and have them over and just basically just have a good time. Uh, so it was really cool for me to to partner up with, with Whirlpool and use some of their innovative uh, appliances and see how I could pull off some of my dishes that I love to create for game day using their appliances. And it was a beautiful thing that came together using that, that air fryer. And I thought it was pretty awesome. Yeah. So do you like a good air fryer or is this sort of your first, you know, wading into the whole air fryer thing? So I've used an, an air fryer per se, like a countertop version. Yeah. So this is why this is so cool because this is the first time that I ever actually use an oven as an air fryer. And Whirlpool has this really cool thing to where it gets smarter over time and then they have over the air upgrades. So if you have a smart appliance, it literally upgrades itself to where now if it didn't have air fry before, now it has an air fryer mode on it. And you can use that, the whole oven as an air fryer. So I was able to cook, you know, not just like five wings that you would do on the countertop. I cooked like two pounds of wings at one time. So yeah. I thought that was just amazing. That is that is a game changer, though, because you can get a party started like that. So. Look at you look, using a game changer. <laughs> <laughs> All the lingo. <laughs> <laughs> but I love that. I love that. Now, is there something, so is that sort of your go-to recipe? Is there anything else you like to sort of add in when you're doing tailgating, like any kind of food? I do a little bit of everything. Um, okay. So from desserts to just handheld snacks, I have a uh, have another recipe that I'm coming out with next month um, that I'll be showcasing on my Instagram uh, using the same air fryer mode. Uh, I mean, proteins, they have a really cool uh, wireless thermometer that, that will, you know, kind of give you the temperature of the protein that you're using wirelessly. So it's really cool, all these different apps and different upgrades uh, and different accessories that they have with their appliances that you can utilize to make game day and make entertaining a little bit easier. And I, and I just, I love it. Yeah, no, for sure, for sure. Now, what are you making for this weekend for Labor Day? Anything in particular? In so, uh, <laughs> well, this weekend, you know, I've, I've, I'm probably gonna use utilize my smoker. Oh, so okay. when I think about Labor Day, I think about barbecuing and, and, and things like that. Uh, I've been doing a lot of cooking, um, you know, with my Whirlpool Smart Oven, uh, only because i am just been so fascinated with this yeah. air fryer, how big it is in the whole oven. So I've been doing a lot of, you know, chicken wings and playing around with different proteins using the wireless thermometer, uh, Yumly, the wireless thermometer that they have to try to figure out, you know, different times and what works and what doesn't work and just playing around with it. So this week, I think I'm going to do a little bit of smoking and kind of get away from the oven a little bit. Are you going to call your buddy Bobby Flay at all or do some? No, no, Bobby needs to call me. He needs to call you. What, you know, call I, was, I was wondering, what have you taught Bobby Flay? Because I know you've schooled him before. You know what? Me and Bobby are really close. Yeah. Only because I consider him like a mentor. And like when I first started with Food Network well, seven years ago. Yeah. He literally was my mentor on Food Network Star, which I won. And he taught me a lot since then. So I always go to him with questions rather than him coming to me with questions. Well, he might have questions for you now. Uh, so <laughs> what's a, what is one thing you kind of took away from, you know, working with him, you know, as far as cooking and, and barbecuing and all that? Well, the one thing that Bobby does is he's, he keeps reinventing himself, mm -hmm. you know, whether it's through his cooking, whether it's through his hosting style, he's always trying to do something new. And I feel like if you want to stick around in this industry, you have to be able to do that. And that's uh, you know something that he's been able to do very successfully for about 20 years now. Yeah, that's for sure. And you have a new show coming up, Out Chef. Tell me about that. Yeah, so Out Chef starts, uh, it comes on, um, it's going to be every Tuesday starting September 18th at 10 o'clock at night. So every Tuesday it'll be coming on. And I really love that show because it really uh, is kind of like a wish fulfillment show to where uh, the people that actually watch Food Network, 
um, you know, just the average home cook. Now I give them an outlet to where they can be on the show, but then they also get to meet some of their idols and cook against their idols. Uh, and so they're not just Monday morning quarterbacks. So they say, oh, I could have did that. I would have did that. And now it's time for you to prove it. Right, right, right. So you can have like crazy challenges, like on guys' grocery games, like that type of thing. I wouldn't say crazy challenges, but it's a lot of surprises. Very cool. Very cool. And what kind of host are you, would you say, when it comes to shows, food shows especially? Uh, I'm the host with the most. No, when it comes to hosting, uh, it's all about uh, just being relatable. And mm -hmm. just basically with me, I just like to have fun. Yeah. Um, I love interacting with people and you got to be able to adapt to different types of personalities. Mm -hmm. And then you also have to be able to be the the life of the party so to speak so sometimes you may have a uh you know someone that's on the show that has a little bit low personality or the energy is low now you have to fill in that space and be the energy and sometimes you have uh contestants that are high energy and you want to just kind of lay back a little bit and let that person shine so um and i think that's due to me being uh playing team sports a lot and you just got to know how to adapt and so that's how i do it when i when i host yeah. And before I let you go, who um, who are you going to be looking at for football this fall? Who are you going to be following or who do you like? Well, it's no, you know, it's no secret that my team is the, I hate to say this because they're just <laughs> so bad, is the San Francisco 49ers. So okay. I'm looking for them every year. I'm, I'm from Dallas, so people always think that I'm going to say the Cowboys, but right. I, I like the Cowboys, but deep down I'm a 49ers fan. You're 40. All right. So that's what you're going to be rooting for. You know, I do have a question for you, which is kind of interesting. I'm from Detroit and every year we have a heartbreak. Sorry about that. Every year we have a heartbreak. Why do you think Detroit can't get it together? I have no idea. <laughs> Detroit has, histo has historically been just not a good team. Uh, and I just think that, you know, it's just time. Maybe they need to move. Maybe they need to go. With, maybe they need to do what, no. what the Rams did. Maybe they need to leave, like, you know, like the Rams that left St. Louis and went to L.A. You know, now they, they're <laughs> champions. So maybe that's what needs to happen. You need to just just pick up and move somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Never leave the Motor City. All right. Yeah, I've always wondered why it's always such a heartbreaker around Thanksgiving. We're all crying, so, in our turkey. But... <laughs> All right. Well, very cool. Will we have access to the recipes or be able to use those too? That you're uh, I think you will be able to, but don't hold me to that. Okay. But I'm pretty sure somebody from the, the team, um, work with team or somebody will let you will let you know that. But hopefully you can because the recipes are really, really good. Yeah. And also, is there any video of you using the appliance? Because I'm trying to envision you using this oven. Yeah. So on my Instagram, especially with the video that, I mean, with the, the recipe that's coming out next month, in which I'll be showcasing uh, some protein and how to use the uh, yum leaf thermometer that they give you. Um, I have some videos with that. Um, so all right. Well, very, very, very nice. All right. Well, I will, you know, let all my friends in Detroit know that they, they need to just move the team. And, uh, and yeah, Start I really over. appreciate it and had a great time talking to you. Thank you so much. All right. Nice chatting with you.